Now it's time for taking the mic. The police are never very far from the spotlight on the independent republic, sometimes for good reasons, but unfortunately more often for bad ones. Today's lesson in policing comes from Bethnal Green East, a section in the east end of London looked after by the Metropolitan Police. It may come as no surprise to you that levels of crime in the area have now broken new records in recent months, with violence and sexual offences as high as they have ever been. Looking at this graphic of how the police are dealing with the crime wave, you can see where the problem is. Just around two-thirds of the crimes have been completed without a suspect identified. That's the light blue colour uh, on the right. The orange section covering just one quarter of the offence is covered uh, by other, whatever that means. All in all, it looks like the good people of Bethel Green are not particularly well served by their police officers. Not many suspects are being identified and not many crimes are being punished. So far, so bad. But what could be the reason? Are the individual police officers busy doing other things? Catching people driving at over 20 miles per hour? Preventing gospel preachers from spreading the word of the Lord? Threatening people on social media with arrest if they tweet about trans women? I can reveal to you at least part of the reason for their incredible lack of success in solving crimes is because it seems that there's a wag in the force. And I don't mean uh, a footballer's wife. The wag in question put up a joke poster in the police station toilet making fun of what is obviously one of the management's pet projects. The pet project in question, you guessed it, it's the Community Safety Unit, which deals with hate crime. Under the heading, Fancy a New Challenge, and featuring a cartoon of a donkey, the poster invited applicants to join if they wanted to work long hours and see their careers stall. It added, with us, you could learn how to NFA, which actually means take no further action against the suspect, with your eyes closed. Now, as you might expect, the management didn't see the funny side of it at all. They have removed the offending poster and are now conducting an investigation to find the culprit. Even the Met's Directorate of Professional Standards has been called in. But what are the chances of them catching uh, the criminal? Judging by their record, it will be another NFA. And you know what that stands for. It's a real crime.